Debbie Reynolds was a beloved actress, singer, and dancer who made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. Born in Texas in 1932, Reynolds rose to fame in the 1950s with her breakout role in Singing in the Rain. Her lively performance and impressive tap dancing skills made her an instant star. Throughout her career, Reynolds appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She received critical acclaim for her work in The Unsinkable Molly Brown, earning a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination. Reynolds also starred in the popular television series The Debbie Reynolds Show and released several successful albums. In addition to her work in entertainment, Reynolds was a passionate advocate for mental health awareness and dedicated much of her time to supporting various charities and causes. She was also a mother to actress Carrie Fisher and author Jolie Fisher. Reynolds' legacy continues to live on through her impressive body of work and the many lives she touched throughout her career. Her contributions to the entertainment industry and her dedication to making a difference in the world will always be remembered. Debbie Reynolds was a beloved actress known for her work in movies such as Singing in the Rain and The Unsinkable Molly Brown. She was also a singer, dancer, and mother to actress Carrie Fisher. Her career spanned over 60 years, and she was nominated for numerous awards, including an Academy Award for Best Actress. Do you have a favorite Debbie Reynolds movie or performance? One that many believe defined her career is her role in Singing in the Rain, where she held her own against co-stars Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor. There are many interesting facts about Debbie Reynolds. For example, did you know that she was just 19 years old when she was cast in Singing in the Rain? Or that she was an accomplished businesswoman owning a hotel and a dance studio? We would love to hear about your cherished memories or personal experiences related to Debbie Reynolds. Do you have a favorite movie or performance of hers? Or perhaps you have the chance to meet her in person. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout this video, we will be sharing many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Debbie Reynolds, so be sure to keep watching. From her humble beginnings to her rise to stardom, Debbie Reynolds' life and career are full of surprises. Debbie Reynolds was born Mary Frances Reynolds in 1932 in El Paso, Texas. She was the youngest of two children in the Monas family. When Debbie was eight, her family moved to Burbank, California, where she developed an interest in singing and dancing. Debbie's big break came in 1948 when she won a beauty contest at 16, which led to a contract with Warner Brothers. However, it was her move to MGM in 1950 that truly launched her career. There, she trained with renowned dance director Kenny Baker, who became a significant influence and mentor. Reynolds' upbringing played a crucial role in shaping her work ethic and humility. Despite her rising fame, she remained grounded and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her versatility, excelling in various genres from musicals to dramas and comedies. Gene Kelly, her co-star in Singing in the Rain, was another key influence. He pushed Reynolds to improve her tap dancing skills and their on-screen chemistry was electric. Debbie's performance in the film became one of her most iconic roles and a defining moment in her career. In summary, Debbie Reynolds' early influences included her family, who instilled a strong work ethic, and mentors like Kenny Baker and Gene Kelly, who helped her hone her craft. Her upbringing and early exposure to the entertainment industry set the stage for a successful and enduring career. Debbie Reynolds was born Mary Frances Reynolds in 1932 in El Paso, Texas. Her family moved to Burbank, California when she was a young girl. Reynolds' mother encouraged her to enter the Miss Burbank Beauty Contest, which she won at the age of 16. This win led to a contract with Warner Brothers and launched her film career. Reynolds' early life experiences shaped her career in many ways. She grew up during the Great Depression, which taught her the value of hard work and perseverance. She also had a difficult childhood, with her father leaving the family when she was young. These experiences helped her to develop a strong work ethic and a resilient personality. One significant event that shaped Reynolds' career was her role in the 1952 film Singing in the Rain. She was just 19 years old at the time, and the film became a huge success. Reynolds' performance in the film was widely praised, and it established her as a talented singer and dancer. Reynolds' career continued to flourish throughout the 1950s and 1960s. She appeared in numerous films, including the affairs of Dobie Gillies, Tammy and the Bachelor, and the unsinkable Molly Brown. She also became a popular singer and performer with hits like Tammy and Abba Daba Honeymoon. Despite her success, Reynolds remained grounded and down to earth. 
She was known for her generosity and kindness, and she was always willing to help others. She was also a dedicated mother, raising her children Carrie Fisher and Todd Fisher while maintaining a busy career. In conclusion, Debbie Reynolds had a remarkable career in film, television, and music. Her early life experiences shaped her resilient personality and strong work ethic, and her talent and versatility allowed her to excel in a variety of roles. She will always be remembered as a beloved actress, singer, and performer. Debbie Reynolds, a legendary actress and singer, discovered her passion for performing at a young age. Raised in a low-income family in Texas, Reynolds' dream of becoming an entertainer was sparked when she won a talent contest at the age of 16. The grand prize was a trip to Hollywood, where she would visit movie studios and gain a deeper appreciation for the world of acting. Reynolds' big break came in 1950 when she was discovered by a talent scout while singing at a local club. She was soon signed to a contract with Warner Brothers and made her film debut in The Daughter of Rosie O'Grady. Despite her initial nerves, Reynolds' natural talent and charisma shone through, and she quickly became a rising star in Hollywood. One pivotal experience that fueled Reynolds' desire to pursue a career in acting was her role in the 1952 musical Singin' in the Rain. Although she had no prior experience in dance, Reynolds worked tirelessly to master the film's complex dance routines, even practicing in her kitchen at home. Her dedication paid off, and Reynolds' performance in the film was met with critical acclaim, cementing her status as a triple threat in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Reynolds continued to push herself and take on new challenges, appearing in a wide range of films and television shows. She was known for her infectious energy, sharp wit, and undeniable talent, and her contributions to the world of entertainment will be remembered for generations to come. Debbie Reynolds in her lifetime welcomed two great-grandchildren Kingston Fisher Lurd Rydell and Jackson Joanne Lurd Rydell, born in 2020 and 2022 respectively, to her granddaughter Billy Lurd and her husband Austin Rydell. In one of Reynolds' most iconic roles, she portrayed Kathy Selden in Singin' in the Rain. During pre-production, Judy Garland, June Allison, and Ann Miller were considered for the part, but deemed too old. Jane Powell and Leslie Karen were also briefly considered before Reynolds was ultimately cast. To enhance the clarity of Reynolds' lines, a microphone was concealed in her blouse during filming. During a dance sequence, the sound of her heartbeat can be heard, echoing the experience of Lena Lamont in the movie. Debbie Reynolds, a talented actress and singer, faced many challenges in her early career. Despite growing up in poverty, she was determined to become a performer. However, she encountered skepticism from the industry due to her lack of experience and connections. Reynolds' family struggled financially, and she had to work from a young age to help support them. She held various jobs, including delivering newspapers and working at a dance studio. Despite these hardships, she never gave up on her dream of becoming an entertainer. When Reynolds got her big break in Hollywood, she faced further obstacles. The studio executives doubted her abilities and were hesitant to give her leading roles. However, Reynolds' resilience and determination shone through. She worked tirelessly to improve her skills and proved herself as a talented actress and singer. One of the creative solutions Reynolds found to overcome these hurdles was to take dance lessons. She knew that being a skilled dancer would set her apart from other actresses and increase her chances of getting leading roles. Reynolds' dedication paid off, and she became known for her exceptional dancing abilities. Reynolds' story is a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Despite facing numerous challenges, she never gave up on her dream. Instead, she found creative solutions to overcome the obstacles in her path and became a successful actress and singer. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring performers to this day. Debbie Reynolds, born in Texas to parents Raymond and Maxine Reynolds, experienced a significant low point in her career where she found herself living in her car, a Cadillac. Despite this challenging time, Reynolds persevered and built a successful career in the entertainment industry. One of her notable roles was in the Disney Channel original movie Halloween Town where she played the character Aggie Cromwell. Interestingly, Reynolds' close friend, Agnes Moorhead, who was also known as Aggie, played a magical grandmother on the television show Bewitched. Reynolds' career spanned over six decades, and she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She was a talented actress and singer who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry.
Debbie Reynolds started her career as a singer at a local club in California. She was discovered by a talent scout and signed a contract with Warner Brothers in 1950. Reynolds got her big break in the movie Three Little Words, where she played the role of Helen Kane, a popular singer in the 1920s. Her performance was highly praised, and she received a Golden Globe nomination for her debut role. In 1952, Reynolds starred in the iconic musical Singin' in the Rain alongside Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor. The film became an instant classic and is considered one of the greatest musicals of all time. Reynolds' performance as Kathy Selden, a talented but struggling actress, was widely acclaimed. Her dance routine in the film, particularly in the song Good Morning, showcased her exceptional dancing skills and cemented her status as a Hollywood star. In 1964, Reynolds received critical acclaim for her performance in the movie The Unsinkable Molly Brown. She played the role of a determined and feisty woman who survives the sinking of the Titanic. Reynolds' performance was highly praised and she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Throughout her career, Reynolds was known for her versatility and her ability to play a wide range of roles. She was a talented singer, dancer, and actress, and her contributions to the entertainment industry have been widely recognized. Her impact on Hollywood and the world of entertainment has transcended generations, and she will always be remembered as a true Hollywood legend. Debbie Reynolds gained recognition for her role as Kathy Selden in the classic film Singin' in the Rain. She expressed learning a great deal from co-star Gene Kelly, who was a disciplined and exacting director. Despite having no prior dance experience, Reynolds was able to keep up with Kelly and Donald O'Connor due to her strength and ability to quickly pick up complicated routines. In addition to her film work, Reynolds also co-hosted the documentary That's Entertainment and provided voiceover narration for some of the segments. These sequences were filmed on the MGM lot, with the exception of a brief appearance by Reynolds which was shot in her dressing room at the Minskoff Theater. Reynolds' career also benefited from the publicity generated by the highly publicized and scandalous divorce from her husband Eddie Fisher. As a result, she ranked as one of the top box office stars for both 1959 and 1960. Debbie Reynolds was a renowned actress, singer, and dancer who approached her work with a unique blend of enthusiasm, hard work, and natural talent. She is perhaps best known for her energetic and engaging on-screen presence, which was often characterized by a relatable charm and humor. Reynolds' personal experiences, including her humble beginnings and rise to fame, greatly influenced her work and helped her connect with audiences. Reynolds' approach to acting was grounded in thorough preparation and a deep understanding of her characters. She would often spend hours researching and rehearsing her roles, striving to bring authenticity and depth to each performance. This meticulous attention to detail was matched by her boundless energy and infectious enthusiasm, which were on full display in her many musical and dance numbers. One of the things that made Reynolds' style unique was her ability to seamlessly blend different artistic disciplines. She was equally at home on stage and screen, and her work as a singer and dancer was informed by her acting skills and vice versa. This versatility allowed her to tackle a wide range of roles and genres from classic musicals like Singin' in the Rain to dramatic films like The Unsinkable Molly Brown. Reynolds' personal worldview was also reflected in her work. She was known for her strong work ethic, positive attitude, and commitment to excellence, which were all values that she brought to her roles. At the same time, she was not afraid to tackle difficult or serious subjects, using her platform to raise awareness about important social issues. Overall, Debbie Reynolds' artistic vision and process were characterized by a deep commitment to her craft, a unique blend of skills and disciplines, and a willingness to take on new challenges. Her work continues to inspire and entertain audiences around the world, and her legacy as a trailblazing artist is secure. Debbie Reynolds faced challenges while filming Singin' in the Rain. She played Kathy Selden, but co-star Gene Kelly's demanding nature led to tears. However, it helped her develop discipline. Interestingly, Reynolds was dubbed by Betty Noyes in some parts, although she used her own singing voice elsewhere. Reynolds' family church, the Nazarene, initially forbade acting, but her father recognized her talent and supported her pursuit, viewing it as a way to cover college costs. Once her mother saw there was no evil involved, she also offered her support. Debbie Reynolds was a prominent figure in the film industry, known for her acting, singing, and dancing skills. 
She started her career in the late 1940s and quickly became a popular actress in the 1950s and 1960s. Reynolds is perhaps best known for her role in Singing in the Rain, which showcased her exceptional talent for dance. According to industry experts, Reynolds' contribution to the industry is significant. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood and paved the way for future generations of actresses. Her performances were known for their energy, humor, and grace, and she was a master of both dramatic and comedic roles. Reynolds' influence can be seen in many areas of the industry. Her performances helped to popularize the movie musical, and she inspired many other performers to pursue careers in dance and music. Additionally, her ability to balance a successful career with family life served as a role model for working mothers in the entertainment industry. Actress and singer Kristen Chenoweth, who was inspired by Reynolds, said Debbie Reynolds was a true Hollywood legend. She was a triple threat and accomplished actress, singer, and dancer, and she inspired so many people, including me. Reynolds' impact on the industry is still felt today. Her performances continue to be celebrated for their skill and artistry, and her legacy as a trailblazing actress and performer lives on. As film historian G9 Basinger put it, Debbie Reynolds was a bright light in the world of entertainment. She brought joy to millions with her performances, and her influence will be felt for generations to come. Debbie Reynolds lent her own voice to a scene in the 1998 film Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, where chaos erupts during her concert. This detail, revealed in the Criterion Collection DVD commentary by Terry Gilliam, was facilitated by his friendship with Reynolds' daughter, Carrie Fisher, in April 2. Debbie Reynolds, the famous actress, had a rich personal life that greatly influenced her career. She valued hard work, family, and kindness, which were reflected in her movie roles and public persona. Reynolds was known for her optimism, humor, and approachable demeanor, making her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Reynolds was passionate about various philanthropic causes, particularly those related to children and the arts. She was a longtime supporter of the Thalians, an organization dedicated to mental health causes, and the Debbie Reynolds Dance Studio, which provided dance training for aspiring performers. Reynolds also used her platform to raise awareness for the preservation of Hollywood's film history. Reynolds' personal interests, such as her love of singing, dancing, and comedy, were often integrated into her work. She starred in numerous musicals, including Singing in the Rain, and was known for her comedic timing in films like The Unsinkable Molly Brown. Reynolds' genuine passion for these areas made her performances more authentic and engaging. In addition to her professional achievements, Debbie Reynolds was a devoted mother to her children, Carrie Fisher and Todd Fisher. She often spoke about the importance of family and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Reynolds' personal values, such as kindness, hard work, and a commitment to giving back, were an integral part of her life and career, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and those she touched. Debbie Reynolds had a different career path in mind before she became a successful actress. She had planned to go into the education field and become a physical education teacher. One of her most memorable roles was as Kathy Selden in the classic film Singing in the Rain. Despite having no professional dancing experience, Reynolds learned quickly and was able to keep up with co-stars Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor. This was thanks in part to her background as a gymnast, which provided her with a strong foundation in physical movement and stamina. Sadly, Reynolds passed away on December 28, 2016, leaving Rita Moreno as the last surviving star of the film. Despite her passing, Reynolds' legacy lives on through her impressive body of work and the impact she had on the world of entertainment. Her determination and willingness to learn, even when faced with a challenging role, is a testament to her character and her talent. Debbie Reynolds left a lasting impact on the film and theater industry with her memorable performances and infectious energy. She began her career at a young age and quickly became a household name, earning recognition for her talent and dedication. Throughout her career, Reynolds demonstrated the importance of hard work and perseverance in the face of adversity. She faced numerous challenges, including being discovered at a young age and balancing her personal and professional life, but she never let these obstacles deter her from achieving her goals. For aspiring professionals in the industry, Reynolds offered the following advice, always be true to yourself and never give up on your dreams. The road to success is filled with challenges, but with hard work and determination, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Reynolds also emphasized the importance of staying grounded 
and maintaining a strong work ethic. Never forget where you came from and always remember the people who helped you along the way. Stay humble and keep working hard and you will be successful. In terms of her own future contributions, Reynolds always looked for new opportunities to grow and challenge herself. She continued to act, sing, and dance well into her later years, inspiring generations of performers with her talent and dedication. In conclusion, Debbie Reynolds' legacy within the industry is one of hard work, perseverance, and dedication. Her advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, never give up on their dreams, and always remember the importance of a strong work ethic. By following in her footsteps, future generations of performers can continue to make a mark in the industry and inspire others with their talent and passion. Debbie Reynolds is best known for her role as Kathy Selden in the classic film Singin' in the Rain. An outtake from the movie was used in the opening credits of The Fall Guy in the 1980s, where a stuntman misses his mark and lands in the street instead of Reynolds' Model T initially. Reynolds was set to dance with Gene Kelly in the Broadway melody sequence, but her dancing skills proved to be insufficient. Leslie Karen was the second choice, but she was unavailable. Despite this, Reynolds' performance in Singing in the Rain remains iconic. Reynolds' career spanned over six decades, and she received numerous accolades for her work. In 2014, she was awarded the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award, which recognizes her significant contributions to the industry. Reynolds' impact on the world of entertainment is undeniable, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and actresses today. Her work in Singing in the Rain Alone has left an indelible mark on film history. Debbie Reynolds was a passionate and innovative actress who left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. She began her career in the 1950s and quickly became known for her lively spirit and incredible talent. Over the years, she tackled a variety of roles, showcasing her versatility and commitment to her craft. Reynolds starred in numerous classic films, including Singin' in the Rain, which solidified her status as a Hollywood icon. She was also a successful singer and dancer known for her energy and grace on stage. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, Reynolds never gave up. She persevered through difficult times and continued to push the boundaries of what was possible in the entertainment industry. Her creativity and determination inspired countless others and helped to shape the industry as we know it today. Reynolds' impact can still be felt in the entertainment industry and her legacy continues to inspire new generations of performers. Her story is a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. No matter what obstacles we face, we can always find the strength to keep moving forward and pursue our dreams. Debbie Reynolds took on the role of Adele in the film, What's the Matter with Helen? While preparing for the part, which required her to portray a woman having a nervous breakdown, Reynolds faced a challenge. Her co-star Shelley Winters, psychiatrist, advised her not to take on the role as she herself was experiencing a nervous breakdown at the time. Winter's immersion in her characters was such that it affected those around her, making the filming experience difficult for the rest of the cast and crew. Reynolds was also the president of the Thalians, an organization dedicated to mental health treatment at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. Brutally served as the chairman, and both women had been actively involved in building and running this celebrity-driven organization for over 30 years. In the movie In and Out, Debbie Reynolds played Bernice Brackett. Whoopi Goldberg made a cameo appearance as herself, five years after her starring role in Sister Act, which was originally written by Paul Rudnick for Bette Midler. However, Midler left the project, and the script was rewritten by a series of ghostwriters, including Carrie Fisher, the daughter of Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds, a talented actress, is known for her role in the film In and Out as Bernice Brackett, directed by Frank Oz. Interestingly, Oz had previously worked with Reynolds' daughter, Carrie Fisher, in several films. Moreover, Carrie's daughter and Reynolds' granddaughter, Billy Lurd, also appeared in The Last Jedi. One of Reynolds' notable film appearances was in How the West Was Won, which received a Best Picture nomination at the Academy Awards in 1962. In the classic film Singin' in the Rain, Reynolds portrayed Kathy Selden. During filming, Gene Kelly, who played Don Lockwood, often became frustrated with the young actress, who was only 19 at the time. Kelly would vent his frustrations on Donald O'Connor, who could handle the harsh words instead of Reynolds. O'Connor revealed this fact to Reynolds years later.
Debbie Reynolds, born Mary Frances Reynolds, was the maternal granddaughter of Owen, a Kansas native, and Maxie Harmon, who was born in Missouri. Reynolds' career as an actress and singer began when she was just 19 years old, with her role as Kathy Selden in the 1952 musical Singin' in the Rain. To prepare for the role, Reynolds had to wake up at 400 a.m. and endure a long commute to the studio, sometimes even sleeping on the set to avoid the trip home. In Singin' in the Rain, Reynolds showcased her singing abilities with the song All I Do, and the following year, she appeared in another musical, The Affairs of Dobie Gillies, where she sang the same song. Despite the challenges of her early career, Reynolds' talent and determination helped her to become a successful and well-known actress and singer. Debbie Reynolds starred as Lilith Prescott in the star-studded film How the West Was Won, alongside seven Academy Award winners and ten other nominees. The film featured a promotional piece where Reynolds' daughter, Carrie Fisher, shared her childhood memories of visiting the set and feeling creeped out and confused by her mother's old age makeup. Reynolds was one of the few actresses to dance with both Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly on screen, sharing the spotlight with other notable actresses such as Judy Garland, Sid Caris, Vera Ellen, Rita Hayworth, and Leslie Caron. Despite the glamour and excitement of Hollywood, her daughter's recollections offer a glimpse into the more mundane and sometimes unsettling aspects of growing up in the industry. We'd love to hear your memories and opinions about the talented Debbie Reynolds. What made her work so special to you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's celebrate the legacies of creative individuals like Debbie Reynolds together. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful explorations of the artists who've shaped our entertainment world. Remember, your engagement helps us continue to create meaningful discussions, so don't hesitate to join the conversation.